So I don't really go inside the loft without any protection for my lungs because I have a really bad asthma and when it gets me it does actually get me so I have to be careful. Anyway I'm just going to show you a little bit of this bird. It's time to change the water again for the birds now it's up it's, it's actually raining at the moment so uh we're trying not to uh, stay out here for for any longer than we should uh, so we've, we've got the water ready uh, fresh water which we clean and change every two days of course i want to change the water every single day but that's impossible you know that's not gonna happen you know <laughs> it's dark in the winter now and um you know sometimes i ain't got the time to actually do that in the evening after work uh, but most definitely is uh, every two days maximum unless that we are actually treating the birds for anything that we uh, keep the water here for about three four days i let the cuts out this afternoon because uh, uh, being a nice weather and all that uh, as you can see now they're used to uh, trapping themselves into this uh, sputnik uh, not a problem at all whatsoever also today i'm giving the hens a chance to go out uh, being a nice day and also in this middle section, as you can see, um, all in the aviary, we also have uh, some late breed birds and also some of the uh, the cocks that we raise as young birds as well. So they're all going to go out today. Um, some of these birds haven't been out at all. So um, um, it's good for them to get to know the area again, uh, along with the rest of the birds. Some of the birds are very hesitant to go out. Uh, let's have a look and see how many more we've got in there. Well, we've got quite a few actually. Um, so um, what I'll do is I'll go inside and then give him a push a little bit. I wouldn't say force it, but I just uh, give him a little nudge and encouragement to go out in the aviary. Uh, okay, let's see what they do now. Uh, I'm not forcing them to, to go out and fly, especially we have a few um, outside there that haven't been out at all. There are late breeds um but they've they've been uh viewing about for quite some time now so i let them get the feel of it and as you know go out as as they please so here we go now look at them so um this is the first time they've actually been out all together and they're already flying in a group so uh as you can expect you've got one or two that are messing about and all over the place but uh well that's not bad at all uh birds are feeling strong uh, enjoying the weather. We only have a few birds, probably six or seven birds that are non-flyers uh, around our loft. Uh, those were the ones that we acquired from uh, some fanciers uh, that they flew as young birds. So uh, we were using them as stuffed birds or breeders. Um, however, with the rest of these birds, I want all my birds to fly. Yes, fair play. Of course, these birds are going to be uh, a little bit confused at first of so where to go in, how to use the new trap and uh, the landing board because obviously things change again for them since the last time they've been out um however it won't take them long as you might have noticed that the, the cocks from the other section when it took them about a week um of, of getting used to but now it's not a problem they go straight to there and trap them themselves in uh, it'll be the same for these birds to be honest and um they're just getting a feel of it like i said most of the ones on the roof are the late breeds and then uh, obviously the ones that we raised uh, before but they'll get used to it at some point. I'm just gonna have to be a little bit more patient with the birds, obviously, like I said, you know, it's not their fault that I moved the trap again and uh, just to confuse them a little bit more, but this is it, guys, this is it. Nothing's ever gonna change here now. Uh, this is this is our setup, uh, apart from when we introduce another section, but that'll probably primarily for the stocks um, or, or maybe for the young birds, um, so we'll see. Um, in the meantime, we're hanging around here, keeping an eye on the birds because we do have quite a lot of hawks around the area. I can't tell which one is which, but they seem to just fly at such speed. Um, it scared the birds off, and if you're not around in there, you'll notice one lot one is missing uh, the following day. That's it, really. So it's, it could be either be peregrine, or um, I don't know, kestrel, or I don't, I don't know what else is around there. But all I know is I'm just keeping an eye on them for the moment because I did spot one flying about. It's time to go in. So they heard me uh, with the food inside. Uh, so uh, there we go. They're going mad at it. They're going crazy. 
Uh, they haven't eaten since yesterday, so which is you know the whole idea of me letting them out at this time of the afternoon. So I let them out uh, in the afternoon uh, just before feeding time. Um, again, it's, it's the first time, especially those late breeds. Uh, you don't want them to be flying about all over the place and, and have, uh, struggling to trap. Um, so first day is good, so they're getting used to it. I'm just wondering why uh, they are struggling to actually push through the, the right side of the bob wires. something wrong with it, maybe a little bit tight, I don't know. But they seem to uh, uh, be struggling to push it through, um, apart from this corner here. So we'll see, we'll have a little check, but for now we're not going to go there and... and and scare them off. We'll let them in first and then we'll have a look. I was wondering earlier why the birds are not able to uh, to come in through the trap door um, as they push in. Didn't realize the, the barbed wire actually stuck onto the paint so they couldn't push it through. Uh, silly that is, isn't it? But anyway, um, first time they've been out for a while. So now they're used to it, to the new trap system. Um, they were very hungry when I let them out anyway. So that's that's basically the key secret. <laughs> when you let the birds out for the first time, if you want to trap train them, uh, make sure that they are hungry. Well, that's what I do it anyway. So, and uh, towards kind of in the afternoon. Uh, so I've had no problems. Uh, they're all in finally, uh, they're now chilling. So they've just had their food now for the day. Um, just gonna have a quick look around here and um, and, and see what, what what they look like. These are the hens. Uh, most of these hens are actually we raised as, as young birds uh, in the last season, and uh, only a few of these young birds are actually uh, late breed. So uh, we're gonna have a go at them anyway. We're gonna train them up uh, the best that we can. Uh, we don't have a lot here. Well, we we do compared to the ones uh, we had last year because we didn't really lose a lot of young birds uh, that's why we ended up with still quite a few to uh to use for for racing in uh, april 2023 so hey guys thanks for watching our video for today and like i said we still have a few more to tweak uh, around our loft it's, everything is just to make life easier for me to manage and maintain uh condition and train the pigeons uh, the best that i can uh, like I said, I'm so busy with work, so what I'm trying to do is trying to organize a little bit. So when I uh, when I come in in the afternoon, everything is there, everything's organized, and they have their own sections to go to. Uh, whereas back in the days, I'm having to catch them individually. So when I let the certain birds out, I have to catch some birds um, to separate them because obviously they can't be out. Uh, that sort of thing. It's, it's it's been a bit of a mess, but now it's improving. So I'm I'm hoping that I'll get to uh, get all the jobs done. Uh, by uh, end of November and then we'll concentrate on the breathing then after.